Some people love it, other people hate it, but everyone who comes to Austin sees it and wonders, what the hell is that? Today, we'll be taking a look at the Frostbank Tower. This 33-story office building is one of the most iconic pieces of the Austin skyline. Not only is it important here, but its construction actually marked one of the most important moments in the history of skyscrapers in general. First, let's start with the basics. The Frostbank Tower was designed by Duda Payne Architects and developed by Cousins Properties, an office REIT based in Atlanta. They own another one of the most iconic properties in Austin, 111 Congress, which is a red granite pyramid that's lit up with blue neon lights at night. Frostbank Tower contains 535,000 square feet of Class A office space, with floor plates ranging between 18,000 and 27,000 square feet. Some of the building's current tenants include PIMCO, Ernst & Young, several white shoe law firms, and of course, Frostbank itself. And at 401 Congress Avenue, this is about as centrally located as a building can get in Austin. You have clear views of the Capitol Dome and of the Bat Bridge. So here's where it gets interesting. The building broke ground in November of 2001, just a couple of months after the 9-11 attacks. At the time, many people were saying that it was the end of skyscrapers as we knew it. So for Cousins to actually start building a new ground up property, especially in a city that didn't really have anything of its sort, was a really big deal. By the time Frostbank Tower actually opened in 2003, it was the city's tallest building, but Cousins didn't hold on to it for very long. In 2006, Sam Zell's EQ office bought the building for $188 million, or about $350 a square foot. By 2007, the building had been wrapped up in a portfolio of several Austin offices that was held by Blackstone. The private equity giant flipped the portfolio to a partnership between Lehman Brothers and Thomas Partners, which is a REIT based in LA. But then after Lehman's collapse, Thomas and the California State Teachers Retirement System actually bought them out of their stake in a deal that was reportedly valued at about $860 million. That portfolio was later split up, leaving the California Pension Fund in full control of the building by 2014. According to property records, the building most recently traded in 2015, when an LLC connected to Lionstone Investments and Endeavor Real Estate Group purchased it. Now deep breath, that was a lot of deals. Where does everything stand now? Now the Class A office market has shifted a lot since the early 2000s, especially after the pandemic. And in 2022, the tower was renovated to keep it in that Class A office bracket. It currently has three floors set to become available for lease in 2025. That's the 15th floor, which is 26,800 square feet. And then the 25th and 26th floors, which are actually connected by an internal staircase and combined for 46,800 square feet. Now this building has a really eye grabbing design. And I love an analogy, so here are some of the best ones I could find. After it was built, John Kelso, who was a humorist and columnist for the Austin American Statesman, said that it appeared to have been built to make contact with Mars and that it's a big 100 foot tall glass spectacle that reminds me of a pair of nose hair clippers. A lot of people say that actually, if you look at the building from the corner, it looks like an owl. Jean Claire Van Risen, who was an art critic for the Statesman at the time that the building was built, the new tower looked like it could be in any city USA, she said. Austin's newest skyscraper is certainly big and certainly tall, she wrote. However, maybe the next time around, we can hope for some architectural beauty. Now, it's nothing new for people to complain about the design of a city's new tallest building. That's basically a guarantee. Some actually liked the design, even from the start. The Austin Chronicle awarded it best new building several years in a row. For a while, Frostbank Tower was considered a symbol of the new Austin, with its sheer glass walls and national tenants and its funky crown. And the skyline's a living visualization of the city's ambitions, and Austin's ambitions have certainly grown a lot since 2004. Cielo Property Group is currently building a 44-story Class A office tower right next to the Frostbank Tower. Their building, called Perennial, is a very clear product of the post-pandemic architectural world. It has more greenery than you can imagine, and a sky lounge, event space, and in one of the renderings you can actually see how it looks out over the Frostbank Tower, so you can be up there celebrating how much better your office is. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to TRD's Building Bios. I'm Joe Lovinger, and I hope to see you back here soon.